You know, I was just thinking about how my brother, my brother went to a different high school than me. He went to the, the richest public school in town. It was downtown, downtown Portland at the base of the West Hills where all the mansions are and like a rich neighborhood. But they have, it's basically like a, almost like a private school. They have all the lacrosse teams and fancy, you know, tennis teams. And I mean, better than most schools. The one, I, the school I went to was kind of more working class and trashy. But uh, this school had more, you know, extracurricular activities because of the money that came into it. But anyways, there was these two guys there, these two twins, and they were speed walkers, like national caliber, you know, like. Nobody ever, ever does that, or people make fun of it because it seems kind of gayish, dorky. But that's, that's actually harder than people realize. And you, you haul ass, but you have to keep your your hips and your knees can't move past a certain level and bend, you know. And I walk a lot, so I know. I mean, you could tell me if you go out for like a 10 pound, 10 mile walk, and you have a heavy pack on, and you feel it. Your legs are just like, oh, jeez. Especially if you do like a 15 or more with a heavy weight, and you're just like, oh. I actually injured myself doing that in my travels, like walking around for hours in Chicago. I got like 15 to 18 miles one day, hauling ass walking too, and I pulled my Achilles tendon really bad. I did that in LA too, just walking all over for hours, and then I get back and just crash. Oh. But uh, you know what else should be an Olympic sport? I, I think speed walking still is, but. Uh, skipping and people make fun of skipping but it's really energy efficient you can haul ass skipping for and it's it's in between a walk and a jog the amount of the amount of energy you use maybe jog but man you get you get buff calves and your legs too from doosh, doosh, your thighs probably your back and stuff too maybe your arms going doosh, 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 doosh. but it's you know it's frowned upon in, our, in society I, I guess maybe most countries people don't really skip, but it's, it's the most energy efficient way that I found to travel is with just your body. You know, you can haul ass skipping. It's actually pretty fun. It's just you know if you do it, you're gonna get people screwing with you all the time, calling you homo or whatever. It's stupid, you know. The stuff like that we can't really do in our society unless you really don't care about people. I, I, I'm too sensitive when people bug me. I'm just like, man, fuck you. I get mad because I feel like I have a right to do what I want as long as I'm not hurting anybody else. Then I get mad when assholes yell at me and do shit. But, but you know, you should really not care. You should be able to skip all you want. Haul ass. So they should have Olympic skipping. I'm telling you, those guys would be buff. And, you could, and you'd haul ass. Yeah, well, anyways... I, it's not like the deepest thought in the world, you know, but I just figured I'd give, throw that at you. Why don't you, why don't you guys, why don't you guys ponder that, huh? Olympic skipping, professional skipping, you know? I mean, I'd skip right now, actually. Well, one thing about skipping is when you have a pack, it has to be really secure because otherwise it bounces around like a maniac. So it was sometimes I've had to run for trains or I'm late somewhere and I've had to run and I got my messenger bag on and it only has one strap and it swings around all the time and bounces. So I'm holding it with one hand and running. Well, anyways, let's, uh, let's all get together and consider the uh, intergalactic skipping Olympics. It's a future event, interdimensional skipping Olympics. I think, that, I think that'll work out. Highly profitable, highly satisfying to all involved.